uh, Lisa Larson. I'm a painter. I live in Stockholm. My personal style uh, is pretty relaxed. I dress like an old man sometimes, but I also can be very inventive, I guess. It's just very mood based. <laughs> I'm a person who needs to be creative. I think if you are a creative person and you don't create, you're gonna be drained and just exhausted and eventually maybe implode. So um, it was like no option. I don't think I have a favorite painting. I um, sometimes have a favorite during my creation, like when I paint. But uh, looking back at all the paintings that I've made, I don't have a favorite. It's just, you know, sometimes you have a lot of fun creating something. And in that current moment, I think it's my favorite, but then I move on. I gather my inspiration from life. Um, I like to live life to the fullest. <laughs> no, but I like to drink wine and get drunk and, you know, eat food with friends. And during Corona, I think that that's what I miss the most. Just, you know, gathering around the table and just being in the moment. The hardest part about being an artist besides from like living broke for many years um, and just doubting yourself, I guess. Just learning how to um, like create a stable work balance, you know, creating routines where you wash your brushes or you just take care of all the other stuff besides from like making art. Um, and just waking up in the morning, going to work, doing it. I don't know, nobody's gonna tell you what to do. So you have no boss or no rules really. So you just have to create it all by yourself. Yeah, for sure. I have to motivate myself every single morning and be like, ah, I don't want to. And especially if you don't have any like inspiration and you come, you're like, oh, I don't want to paint. We don't have that luxury. You can't just wait for inspiration. You have to go and do other shit, you know? No. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing wine. It's really, really great. It's really hard to come by. Um, have you had it? No. It's amazing. Um, they actually had a draft recently about um, from Sustainable Light, and you have to be like two, two seconds or something to get one. And then they increase in value like 10, 10 times that where you buy it from. But it's amazing. It's super, super delicious. Uh, I like to paint only wines that I enjoy. So there's nothing fake about, you know, my wine paintings. Um, this is um, oil on canvas and um, it's just like a scene from a late night. You just enjoy the surge and just a good time. A sign of a night well spent. I'm pretty fast when I do start painting, when I get an idea and then I start. Um, so, uh, I mean, in theory I could finish a piece in a week if I work really hard, but I, I mean, it's, I don't work that hard. <laughs> I, um, I like to, but it also needs like layers to dry in between. So I often work on like three different pieces at the same time. My first art show, I was so close to throwing up. It feels like your entire body is shaking and you're just nauseous and you just ask yourself, why the fuck do I do this? But uh, I think it's a sign of you doing something right. If you're nervous, it means something to you. So, yeah. Every show I feel that way though. Um, I can't remember the first time I sold my first piece. Probably one of my parents' friends who bought it or something. But um, yeah, you feel like, um, you feel good about yourself. But you doubt like the price and everything. But uh, after doing it for a while, you just, this is awesome. This is really nice. Um, I'm a loner, really, in my work. I just want to be in a cottage somewhere. In Sicily. Yeah, drinking nice wine. place. Drinking yeah. wine, having a good time. Food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that I, when I was five, that's how I saw my future. I think I wrote it down, or my teacher wrote it down for me. Um, when I grow up, I wanted to live in a cottage, and then, like, remote island, nobody there, me and my dog, 
just a small, tiny, simple life. <laughs> um, if I think I found my like art style, like the final one, no, absolutely not. I think that um, this is what I'm gonna be doing for now, and it works right now. But I'm going to um, for sure change it along the way. So, yeah, ever changing. I think like most artists, it's just gone through many, many phases. It's um, sometimes I cringe when I look back at my earlier works, but it's also what's like brought me here. I think it's, um, yeah, I've gone through a lot of different styles and expressions. So, you know, if you're so close up to something that you're working on, it's hard to see like the evolution of uh, change. But um, for sure, every time I have a break and then I start on something new, like a new show or something, I can see changes in what I do. But I, yeah, I don't know. It just happens. Advice for aspiring artists. Just keep on doing it fucking every day, just getting up, doing it. Um, and it's gonna be rough and you know, people are gonna say no and you're gonna doubt yourself, but keep on going. It's the best job in the world. And once you get there and you can live off of it, it is spectacular. So keep painting every single day, even if you have nothing to paint. Paint yourself for like 30 days, every morning at 7 a.m. And then just see what happens. Oil. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess now. Um, and my favorite brushes are these guys. They're made from uh, Badger. Really, really smooth and just makes a beautiful finish. Um, and then I use gum, which is this. I just thin out the paint. So sometimes when I'm not working on a large canvas, I like to small, uh, paint on the paper. And it's um, with a paint called gouache and it's like a watercolor based, but it feels like oil almost. So I make these small papers. Um, then I just paint. It's a nice like break from painting large scale. So you just sit and listen to some good music and chill out.